Welcome to Circuit Secrets. In today's video, we will cover the basics of both multi-core and free RTOS programming on the Raspberry Pi Pico with the Arduino IDE. We are going to go through two example sketches I wrote for the Raspberry Pi Pico. One uses simple multi-core programming and the other uses tasks in free RTOS. Both programs demonstrate the importance of parallel or time-sharing operations by flashing two LEDs at different rates independently of each other. These demonstrations are set up for the Raspberry Pi Pico, but with some modifications will work with the Raspberry Pi Pico W. Here is the first sketch. This one uses simple multi-core programming. It runs separate functions on each of the two cores of the Raspberry Pi Pico. Let's go through it line by line. We don't need to include any headers or any special libraries to support the Raspberry Pi Pico and multi-core processor programming. We have four functions, setup, setup1, loop, and loop1. Inside of setup and setup1, we designate two pins as output. Inside of the two loops, we use digital write to toggle those pins, which in turn cause the LEDs to light and turn off. We use delay statements to control how fast the LEDs turn on and off. The difference in delay time causes one LED to blink at a different rate than the other one. If we attempted to blink two LEDs using delay without multi-core or task-based multitasking, the delay for one LED would block the execution of the code for the other one. Now let's take a look at blinking two LEDs using tasks in free RTOS. This sketch starts by calling in the free RTOS library and the tasks library. These are both necessary to use basic multitasking as we will be in this example. Next we come to setup where we create our two tasks using xTaskCreate. xTaskCreate turns functions into tasks. xTaskCreate takes the name of the function, the name of the task which is used for debugging, the size of the task depth in words, a pointer to the task parameters, a task priority, and an optional handle to the created task as arguments. The way these tasks are written, they can be thought of as having their own built-in setup and loop functions. Everything before the while loop is only run once, while everything inside of the while loop is run forever. True will always be true, so the while loop never ends. Param is used as the task handle and is required in each task. Within the while loop, we use digital write, as we did before, to toggle the pin, and we use the delay function for timing. So which way is best? Well, there is less overhead when simply using the built-in support for multi-core programming using loop and loop1. So if you only need two things to run independently but simultaneously, that is a great option. Now if you need more things to happen at the same time, say three or four, you have to use free RTOS or write your own method for switching between tasks. It is even possible to use free RTOS and multi-core programming at the same time. To learn about that, catch my next video. So subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Like and leave a comment if you found this video helpful and if you want more content like it.